Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be continuing revamping old creations. In the last video we found out that this stabilization system I made to make the boat from rocking forward and backwards is not working. Well, it works, but it, it's not the method we, we should use because we don't want to add real weight. So we're just going to get rid of all of this and see if we can find a way to actually balance the thing and have it work. So we're going to get rid of that and get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try um, something and I'm just gonna get pivots. This is a glitch by the way, to increase buoyancy and things. So we're just gonna grab pivots, stick a bunch of them back here. You don't need power or anything, just stick a bunch of them and we'll see how that works. Prefer, it, it's better if you center them, this way you're not having your, your boat eat to the right or to the left, um, capsizing. But let's see, does that increase? Okay, that's a, that increases buoyancy for sure. Um, it doesn't decrease the weight in the back there. It definitely increases the buoyancy though. So see how it's 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 floating way higher in the water than it did before. So let's see, do the propellers still move? Um, barely. They're barely in the water, so that's too many. Um, let's just try getting rid of these. Um, that seems yeah, that seems better. All right, so that's that. I was hoping you would push the front of the boat down, but it seems to be doing that. So, what we need to do is, well, just put more weight in the front, unfortunately. That seems to be something that we're going to have to do. Uh, it's, it's somewhat work. Yeah, okay. So, we're, we're on the right track. So, we're just going to put probably another layer of weight blocks. And that hopefully will do the trick. Alright, yeah, that looks like it's pretty much done it. It's still a little bit off balance, but um, who's going to really notice um, besides the people that are super strict about these things or people are probably going to get mad at me for <laughs> not being precise. Um, trust me, I see it too, okay? But um, you're just going to have to deal with it. So I, so let's see how we can get this landing pad to look better. Let's cut some holes in the corner and put some lights in. Um, actually, can we do... Do I have a microcontroller for flashing lights? Um, um, I could... No, we're not gonna... We're gonna do... I mean, I might... You know, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just put that down. I don't think that microcontroller works. I don't know why I still have it, but... Okay, yeah, that won't work, because I have no idea how to program that to become... To go between red and green, so we're just gonna... Stick with regular lights. Um, let's grab this. Stick this in here. I almost couldn't see it because of every, everything's white. Now let's see. What are the like the colors on heli on the helipad lights? Okay, it looks like they're green. So we're, that's what we're gonna do. It's light green. And just do this. Well, actually, is that a, is that the best green? Better. Yeah. There we go. Not much different, but it's fine. And then we need get a blinker. Oh my goodness, I'm pressing N. Um, let's get, let's get need a blinker. And we're just gonna put it in here. This'll do, because it's the microcontroller. Um, and then that up, that input's just gonna go to these, it's gonna go to these lights. And with that, that's fine. And then, what's this? This is the control signal. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put like a big control panel back here so we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna put like toggle buttons um i have no idea why i erased a lot if i was gonna put it back but this is gonna be for helipad lights and that's just gonna go into here and then we need to kind of customize this so link on duration 0 0.2 and then link on yeah i think that should be fine so we can turn on the helipad lights yeah, and then that's gonna be like you that's meant to be used at night so for for if you're landing. I think it's blinking a little too fast though. So let's change that. So every one second it's gonna flicker. There we go. That's better. So that's what we're gonna stick with for that. Let's save that. Um okay. Let's also just paint the H on the helipad. We're gonna do it in orange just to be different. Um oh we need the regular brush there we go and then we'll just do something in the middle here 
there we go. So that's, uh, that age looks horrible, but <laughs> we're, we're just gonna leave it. Um, it, it's, it's fine, nobody's gonna notice. And actually what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna get some orange lights and put them in here. And these are also gonna be hooked up to the same blinker for the lights, for the helipad lights. Because we want, we want to be able to see the outline of where we're going to land, right? We might have to put another few, another few in there, but hopefully not. Okay, so that's that. They're all going at the same time. Good, good. Okay, let's just make sure we can disable the magos here with this button. Yes, we can. Um, and this helicopter also works. All right. Well, let's make sure we get all that hooked up to electricity because we're playing in advanced mode. I mean, advanced mode is the only mode in the game now since the 1.0 update. So it's going to go in here, hook this stuff up to electricity just so that it can hopefully work when you're not using infinite stuff. We're not just any power to those buttons because we're not using them. Um, we just need power. To, okay, now we don't because it doesn't exist anymore. And that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for this video. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.